Welcome back to The Daily Threat, your one-stop destination for the latest cybersecurity news and insights. Today we have a packed episode filled with alarming stories that expose the vulnerabilities faced by businesses and government agencies alike. Our first story comes from The Hill, reporting that House Republicans have launched a formal investigation into a major email breach that has targeted federal agencies. This cyber incident has raised serious concerns about the security measures in place within the government sector. The attackers gained unauthorized access to sensitive email systems within federal agencies, jeopardizing classified information and confidential communication. As of now, the extent of the data breach is not fully disclosed, but it is feared that valuable intellectual property, state secrets, and personal information of employees could be at risk. The specific methods used by the attackers to breach these federal agencies have not been revealed yet. However, such sophisticated attacks often involve tactics like spear phishing, social engineering, and exploiting unpatched software vulnerabilities. It's possible that the attackers used a combination of these techniques to breach the email systems. Once inside the email systems, the attackers could potentially monitor communications, extract sensitive data, or even use the compromised accounts to launch further attacks. This poses a significant risk to national security, public trust in government institutions, and the safety of individuals whose personal information might have been exposed. This email breach has broader implications for businesses and citizens. If the attackers manage to extract valuable intellectual property from these agencies, it could end up in the hands of competitors or foreign entities. Additionally, citizens' trust in government data protection and privacy practices may be shattered, leading to a decrease in public trust and confidence. To prevent similar incidents, federal agencies, businesses, and individuals must take proactive steps to enhance their cybersecurity posture. This includes regular security awareness training for employees, implementing multi-factor authentication, conducting thorough security audits, and promptly patching any vulnerabilities in their systems. Our second story, covered by CNBC, delves into the escalating war between companies and hackers involving generative AI. This new frontier of cyber warfare presents both exciting opportunities and alarming risks for businesses worldwide. Generative AI, with its ability to mimic human creativity, has been leveraged by cybersecurity firms to identify and counter new threats effectively. However, hackers are now using the same technology to create sophisticated attack vectors that traditional cybersecurity measures struggle to detect. Hackers are deploying generative AI to create advanced and evasive malware, phishing emails, and deepfakes, making it challenging for conventional security systems to differentiate between genuine and malicious content. This technique allows attackers to bypass traditional security controls, infiltrate networks, and steal sensitive data. For businesses, this AI-driven arms race means that relying solely on conventional security solutions is no longer sufficient. Traditional signature-based antivirus software and rule-based systems may become obsolete as attackers use generative AI to craft custom attacks that slip through these defenses undetected. To stay ahead in this generative AI war, businesses must adopt AI-driven security solutions that can adapt to new attack patterns and identify anomalies effectively. Advanced behavioral analytics, anomaly detection, and AI-driven threat intelligence should be at the forefront of their cybersecurity strategy. Our final story, featured in InfoSecurity Magazine, highlights a concerning trend where hackers are using AI-powered tools to target mobile users specifically. Cryptorom, a new strain of mobile malware, poses significant risks to the privacy and security of individuals and businesses alike. Cryptorom employs AI algorithms to identify vulnerabilities in mobile applications, enabling it to execute targeted attacks on users. Once installed on a device, Cryptorom can encrypt sensitive data, lock the device, and demand a ransom for decryption, similar to traditional ransomware. Mobile devices contain a wealth of sensitive data, including personal information, financial details, and corporate data accessed through work-related applications. An attack like Cryptorom poses a direct threat to users' privacy, leading to identity theft, financial losses, and potential damage to an individual's reputation. 
To safeguard against cryptorom and similar threats, mobile users must be cautious when downloading apps from unofficial sources, keep their devices up to date with the latest security patches, and regularly back up their data. Employing reputable mobile security solutions that leverage AI-based threat detection can also add an additional layer of protection. That's all for today's episode of The Daily Threat. We hope these stories have shed light on the ever-evolving landscape of cybersecurity and the challenges that businesses and individuals face. Stay vigilant and take the necessary steps to protect your data and systems from malicious actors. Remember, for more cybersecurity updates, don't forget to subscribe to The Daily Threat. Our show is brought to you by QIT Solutions, your trusted partner in cybersecurity. Together, let's stay one step ahead of the threats that surround us. Stay safe and see you next time.